I don't encourage anyone to dox anybody, but the times we're in, everyone is so quick to weaponize their smartphone and pull out their cameras just to record you and it could go two ways. It could ruin your life or it can make your life better. I'm going to be talking about this young dude by the name of West Elm Caleb who's been accused for cheating on multiple women at the same time serial dating which I, I, I don't even know this is a freaking even a thing now this is the first time I heard of the term serial dating like serial killer <laughs> ghosting women and it, it made me it, it's not that it made me angry it made me happy to know for the fact that yes there's finally a, 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 a brother out there that's just doing his thing and of course he's wrong for it I'm not saying that it's okay for what he's doing I wouldn't even do anything like this sleep with multiple women play multiple women be a player I wouldn't encourage anybody to do anything like this but the moral of the fact is that when it come, when it happens to to women right they get their their feelings hurt they go crazy. They go mad. They act out on emotions. But if if it, this happens to a guy where the woman he's dating is sleeping around with multiple men, it's all good. He's a man. He'll get over it. The dating scene has always had double standards. And it's going to get worse. The fact that all these women had the audacity to complain about this guy it, it is it is make no sense you they think in their head this is too good to be true but they don't realize you were attracted to him be, for a lot of shallow reasons the man was over he's over six foot but because he's over six foot I believe he's six foot four because of his height, they're going to give him a chance. So it goes with the personality and everything else. They, they're going to give him a chance. But let him be like less than five foot, four foot. They, they will treat him like dirt. They will, they will treat him like he's a dog. He's a disease that he's, he's garbage. That, that's how pretty much a lot of women treat most of the men in the world. And I bet half of these women ghosted so many men and played a lot of men. Or don't even respond to them at all. They, they just look at the message and they're like, eh. But let the tables turn. Let the, let the tables turn against them from a guy that they, they liked because he's so tall He's over six foot. All of a sudden, oh, even though he's really tall, uh, he 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 kind of looks good. Oh, he uh, he told me all these lovey dovey stuff. He said he was gonna take me to this place, that place. He said I was gonna be his forever. My wife said it the other day. A lot of women thinks that they're dating this fantastic man, but most of them are looking for this amazing man. They're past six foot. They're dreamy. They got money. They have. They, if they have the whole package, they automatically think that, oh, he's picking me. I'm the one. But they don't realize most women out there are looking for the exact same thing. So there's going to be competition. Caleb made it so easy. He made it look so easy to sleep and play women. This goes to show you that the thoughts, the sluts, the whores, the attention seekers, 
I don't feel bad for none of one none of the women that got played. I mean, for some of them that they genuinely want something out of the relationship, I understand that. But at the same time, come on, man. Like, you have to see that this man, this guy had red flags. You can't be angry at the player. Hate the game. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. This is the game. This is how dating has always been. The ladies of all the generations has made dating hard. It's just become harder because of technology, the access to thousands and hundreds of men, hundreds of men making them feel like they're the world, that they're worth something, that they're a 9 out of 10, a 10 out of 10. They gas their head up to where they think they deserve a man that's past 6 foot. And as soon as really reality hits, the same man that they want, they dream of having. Multiple women wants him too. So what does what does that tell you? Instead of them saying, okay, I'm going to humble myself. I learned my lesson. I shouldn't be shallow. And I should just be realistic with my standards, not lower my standards like you're doing someone a favor. That's the thing. Some of these ladies feel like they're better and they're queens and they're not they ain't nothing you're turning to dust dirt you're gonna die like everybody else all your looks is gonna fade away it's not gonna matter 40 50 60 years from now when you're in your 70s or 80s when you're on your deathbed all that stuff is not gonna matter it's just crazy how far of a society that we've gotten thank god something like this went viral and I, I, I don't blame the guy from for even making a comment. And these days on the internet, anybody can lie about somebody. You could lie about your grandma, your brother, your coworker, and their reputation could be ruined because of a lie. Who's to say that because the women that he didn't like got their feelings hurt. They wanted to put him on blast or get him viral. But at the same time, if the man's a player, you can't hate him. Hate yourself. There's a lack of accountability in a lot of women today. And this still shows how viral things has gotten out of hand behind this man. And I understand why a lot of MGTOW men or Red Pill men, they will look at this man as a hero. And I'm not surprised by something like this happening. I'm not. I just laughed. The moment I heard about this case, I was like, I'm a little late to what happened, but I laughed. I, it made me smile. I was happy. I was like, good. They got what they deserve. Karma. Karma. What goes around comes around. They reject all the men that's uh five foot three, four, seven, six. I, I get it. I get it, ladies. You want a man who's a certain height. Why can't you stick with a guy that's a little taller than you or about the same height as you? Why does it even have to be about height or looks to be exact? It is so rare to see a couple where you see a beautiful woman that's very attractive and appealing to a lot of other men, right? And she's with a guy who's average, below average to society. He's deemed ugly. He's five foot five, pretty sure. He has an average job. But because he has an amazing personality to her and they have a lot in common, they make it work. There's something called giving people a chance. There's nothing wrong with the women who says that they, I'm going to wait for my, my knight in shining armor. Yes, you're supposed to wait. But what they're waiting for is a disaster. They're waiting for a hot mess. Because most of these women... 
are so shallow and don't realize how naive and stupid and and, and, uh, and ignorant they are. Like, really, they, they don't understand how ignorant they are until someone hurts them. They're all surprised. They're surprised that, how dare this man played me? Like, one of the chicks from, um, that was talking about Caleb, she was talking about his mustache, trying to cut him, trying trying to uh, put him down, diss him, all because she got played. You see this? They always try to find some type of way to, a shaming tactic to shame a man. A man that they got so hung over by because of his height, because of one of the shallowest things, but then on a daily basis, women reject men all the time. Even men that could have been a wonderful husband, a wonderful father to your children. But because he's not tall enough, you eliminate all the other things. You guys could get a well fine. He, you guys could have a uh, common ground, common personalities. Everything may be good, but because he's not tall enough or he's not good looking enough, I'm not going to give him a chance. And people wonder why there's double standards in dating. People wonder why men are just pumping and dumping. People wonder why there's a sky rise uh, 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 of, of STDs. Because a lot of women are sharing the same man. And that same man could have HIV and he's giving all the women that he's sleeping with HIV. It's all fun and games. Oh, because he was too good in bed. Or some women now has the stereotype that's been on around for a long time that the taller the man is, the bigger his penis is. That's the most stupidest crap I ever heard. It's stupid. Genetically speaking, a taller man does not equate to him having a bigger package or being better in bed. It all goes down to the experience. And I believe that it's a lot more pure and better to experience a, a sexual bond between a man who is a husband and a woman who is a wife. A union between God. That's what I believe in. But in, I'll save that for another topic. I'm just talking about the real world. In the real world, in 2022, we have not gotten far as a society. It's pathetic. Sad. That these women out here, a lot of them are not loyal. The average woman now will drop a man in a heartbeat, divorce him, initiate the divorce because of her feelings involved instead of God. You're more loyal to the streets than to be loyal to God and your husband. You're more loyal to college, your college degree, the money, your career, your status. More than God. You see, a lot of women today that has this type of uh, shallow expectation, they don't realize that they're crap themselves. They're saying, some of their excuses would be, oh, because I'm a woman. What does that even mean? What does that mean? Some people... Don't realize that some of the things that you really want is not some of the things that you really need. I'm, and to be truthful in the matter, I'm 5'8". I used to have a high complex because that's how powerful social media and dating is. I've been me- rejected many times by women. Especially because, oh, I wasn't tall enough. I thought I was not good enough. 
I put myself down. I started to believe other people and I started to think because of the media and everybody else, maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe all the women around me don't don't really care. But if I was to even have the height, the looks, the status, not even the status, the, just the height and some, and some of the looks, I would feel like a king. But I would be treated as an object at the exact same time. It's so sad that there's a lot of women out there who honestly thinks that there's many tall men that they rather wait. They rather wait. Go by in life. Find an amazing guy. Some of them will even drop their ex husbands. Uh, not even their ex husbands. Some of them will even drop their husbands. Just to sleep and cheat on them with a better looking guy. A guy that has a nice body or who's taller or who's over, over six foot. Shallow. That ain't crap. Look at Kevin Samuels chat. Kevin Samuels videos. Same example. Same women looking for the exact same thing. A lot of them most of the time does not have nothing to offer because the things that they're looking for has nothing to offer as well. And what I'm trying to say is that the little things that someone searches for goes to show you how much they're worth. How much little value that they think of themselves. You're a representation of what you look for on the on the dating market. You're a representation of what you want to attract in from the dating market. Garbage. What goes around comes around. Karma. It's all fun and games until it happens to them. It's all fun and games until it happens to you. I applaud um, the situation. I don't applaud what Caleb did. Whatever he did, only God will know. That's gonna be between. That's gonna be between him and God. But at the end of the day, I don't feel bad for any of the women that got played. Honestly, they had it coming. This has been going on for a long time. It just made me happy to know stuff like this is happening in the world. People need to learn their lesson and hold themselves accountable. Everyone plays a part in a relationship. It's called a relationship for a reason. No one didn't force you or stuck a gun to your head to date a tall man. And as soon as he hurts you, all of a sudden, your life is over. You want to put him on blast. Be in your freaking, in your freaking feelings and try to ruin his life. Like, that's going to make up anything. Ladies, don't, don't date him. Don't date this guy. What's funny is that all the women that he were playing, that he was playing, were are from New York City, <laughs> and I'm actually planning to move back the, uh, back there soon. Since I'm I'm originally a New York City resident, I'm I'm from Brooklyn. It's just it's hilarious, man, to think that this is how pathetic a lot of these women are. As soon as you got a little bit of height, that goes to show you how shallow and empathetic they are as a, as a human being you're shallow that is extremely shallow I can even look up the percentage of men that's over 6 foot in the US <laughs> the percentage of men out of 100% in the U.S. population, about 14.5 of all men are six foot or over. What does that even mean? Three, and, and it's going to even go down. 3.9% of adult men are six two or taller. All these women are sleeping with the exact same man. And they have the audacity to think that they're special. You're nothing but dirt. You're dust. You're going to die in the end of the day. 
We all will. It's not going to matter. So boo-hoo, cry me a river. I don't feel bad for none of them. I'm happy that a situation like this happened. I'm sorry for the women that this happened to if you was expecting a marriage. But you have to be honest and real with yourself, man. Wake up and smell the coffee. If many women are going to be looking for the exact same guy, wouldn't it be smarter to look for a man that's in your bracket? That that has the same common interest with you? Whatever it may be. Be around people like that. Instead of just finding a good man or a good person, they'd rather go for a guy and ignore all his his qualities because he looks good or, or he he's a, he's above six foot. So it, it dismisses every single thing. So don't get mad when he screws with you. He wants to kick you out of his place. He sleeps with you. He wants to kick you out of his place or he plays you and ghosts you. You can't be mad. Be mad at yourself. Hold yourselves accountable. This is Woken Up Here. Peace out, everyone. And God bless. Peace.